Okay, so here we're going to have a look at how we add a title um, to our video in Premiere Pro. Okay, so we're going to go to File, New, and Title. Okay, so we're going to add a lower third onto the video. So we'll call this lower third. Okay, and basically the lower third preview here will show you the frame where your playhead is on the timeline um, here. So that's why we're seeing. This shot, if we had a blank area here, we would just see uh, black. So for instance, if the clip was not there, then we would just see black. Okay. So then what we're going to do is add a couple of graphic boxes here, and then the text over the top. So kind of basic lower third. We've got some nice kind of rounded rectangle tools that we can use, but we'll just stick with the regular rectangle tool for the moment. So we're going to draw out a box. Okay, which is going to be solid white. Once we've got it, we'll just reposition it using the selection tool. Okay, we can also add things like a shadow to it as well if we want it to kind of pop out a little bit more from the, the video. So you can see here in the white on this video here, by making it pop, it kind of uh, with the shadow, it kind of allows it to stand out a bit more clearly. So we can increase the the spread of that so it's a bit more blurred and just drop the opacity a bit so it doesn't look too too fake okay and then we'll copy that so edit copy and edit paste and that will paste the same graphic right over the top just undo that so it's back in position and then we're going to add a color tint to there so we're using the hue adjustment here we'll come to the orange click OK and then we can just drop that down. Okay, so now we'll add the type. So we'll grab the area type tool, just draw out area type, and we'll type in this. We'll change the font uh, to Century Gothic. Okay, and we still got a drop shadow on this text that we added to. So we'll just turn that off so it's just on the back drop there. Actually, I'm going to turn it off this orange slice there as well. We just want it on that white box in the background. So we can turn on and off any of these effects that we have on the right-hand side. Okay, so we can type in our type there. We can change the size of the type up here. Okay, and obviously the font, italicize, and everything we have um, up here as well. We also have an option to show or hide the video in the background. So let's just move this guy down a bit. And that's basically the, the kind of fundamentals of how to do this kind of title. So we'll close that. The title, once we've um, created it, um, will basically pop into our project window. So it's not adding it straight away to the, the timeline here. So if I drag this now, on top here we get the title so what I tend to do rather than dragging the original on there is I'll uh, right click make a duplicate rename it with the, the text that I'm using in that title and then we can drop it on here and we have a title so we want to make the title appear in a kind of funky way so we'll grab the title we'll jump back to the effects panel across here on the left and we're going to use a slide at the beginning and then a dissolve at the end. So we'll grab the slide. There we go. Okay, and we can adjust the duration of that too. So now I've got a slide in. And if we come to the end of our clip, we're now going to add a cross dissolve. Okay, so it fades out at the end. So we've got slide in and then dissolve out at the end okay so that's how to add that we can obviously shorten the duration of it if we want it on screen for less time and normally the way I'll add titles is basically by adding the title and then just making sure that I can read it all okay so other things you might include in the title would be the name the role of the person and then also the location that it was being filmed in or something like that.